That's interesting. Um, so moving on to like when uh, you talk about um, a lot of like the content of Genesis, maybe like traditions that are passed along for like um, century to century and such. Like, um, so we're looking at like the composition of the text. There's a lot of different stories going going around here. But if you are like kind of like dating the composition of the Book of Genesis, like what what do you kind of think of from your perspective? I wish I knew. See, I'm using the same answer over and over. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I wish I knew. Uh, it, when we look at Genesis 1 through 11 and the content of that and look through the rest of the Old Testament, you find out that Genesis 1 through 11 is largely missing. Mm -hmm. They don't refer back to those stories. They make a passing reference to the Garden of Eden in Ezekiel, uh, passing reference to the Tree of Life in Proverbs, but uh, little mention of uh, the Garden of Eden as the place where these trees were, where the fall took place. Uh, no reference to the flood, no reference to the Tower of Babel, no reference to Cain and Abel. Hmm. And so again, it becomes difficult to say at what point are the Israelites aware of these narratives? We'd like to think that they are aware of them all the way through, and they may well have been. I've got no problem with that. But if we're looking for that evidence in the rest of the Old Testament, you're not going to find very much to help you out. Now, that means that theoretically, the final step, remember, I talked about the idea that the first inclination was not to write. Hmm. Okay, so writing took place gradually along the way, sometimes maybe in documents, individual documents, the story of Joseph or something like that. Um, and then at some point, somebody came along and combined all of those documents and oral traditions into what we call the book of Genesis with its own purpose. But we don't know when that took place. Again, there's no indication of it taking place. There are indications in the book of Genesis that that was a long, gradual process. For instance, comments like, and in those days, the Canaanites were in the land. Oh, mm -hmm. so we must be writing at a later time yeah. when they weren't. Um, you know, but this was before the Israelites had kings. Or, you know, so that gives some reflection from a later time period. But we really don't know when that all came together. We know that by the time of the Qumran documents, our earliest major archive of scripture, uh, second century at the earliest, uh, we know that by then the book had come together. But when that happened, we really don't know. Wish we did. Mm -hmm. 